The Sphinx's real name, a mystery from the past. Hi Science Tellers! Welcome to Science Deli, where we tell you amazing stories about science and history. Today, we are going to talk about a big statue that everyone knows, the Great Sphinx of Giza. The Sphinx is a huge statue of a lion with a human head that watches over the pyramids of ancient Egypt. It is so famous that it has made many stories and myths for many years. But did you know that the name, Sphinx, is not what the ancient Egyptians called it? In fact, we don't know what they called it, or what it meant to them. That's right, the Sphinx's real name is a mystery that has made people wonder for a long time. So, how did the Sphinx get its name, and what are some of the ideas about who it really is? Let's find out. The word, Sphinx, comes from the Old Greek word, Sphingo, which means, to squeeze, or, to strangle. This is because the Greeks thought that the Sphinx was a creature that asked hard questions to people who traveled, and killed them if they couldn't answer. You may have heard of the story of Oedipus, who answered the Sphinx's question and saved the city of Thebes from its anger. But the Greek Sphinx was very different from the Egyptian one. The Greek Sphinx had the head of a woman, the body of a lion, the wings of a bird, and sometimes the tail of a snake. The Egyptian Sphinx, on the other hand, had the head of a man, the body of a lion, and no wings or tail. It also didn't ask questions or kill people, as far as we know. It was a sign of power and safety, often linked to the kings and the sun god. So, why did the Greeks call the Egyptian Sphinx by the same name? Well, it's possible that they were influenced by the cultures of Mesopotamia and Syria, where there were creatures like the Sphinx, such as the griffin, the manticore, the cherub, and the lamassu. These creatures were often seen as protectors of holy places, and sometimes had questions or secrets of their own. The Greeks may have used their own stories and beliefs to name the Egyptian Sphinx, and gave it a name that fit their imagination. But what did the ancient Egyptians call the Sphinx, and what did it mean to them? Sadly, we don't have a clear answer to that question. The Sphinx is very old, dating back to around 2500 BC, during the Old Kingdom time of Egypt. It was built by the King Khafra, who also built the second biggest pyramid at Giza. The Sphinx was cut out of a single piece of stone, and its face is thought to look like Khafra himself. However, the ancient Egyptians did not leave any writings or pictures that tell us the name or the reason of the Sphinx. They did not write history as we know it, but rather focused on religious and magic texts, such as spells, songs, and myths. The Sphinx may have been part of a group of temples and statues for Khafra and his followers, but we don't know for sure. The oldest name that we have for the Sphinx comes from the New Kingdom time, about a thousand years later than its building. The New Kingdom kings respected the Sphinx as a form of the Sun God, and called it, hor em which means, Horus of the Horizon. Horus was the god of the sky, kingship, and victory, and the son of Osiris and Isis. He was often shown as a man with a falcon head, or a falcon with a double crown. The Sphinx, with its lion body and human face, may have shown the connection of Horus and his father Osiris, who was linked to the underworld and the afterlife. But hor em was not the real name of the Sphinx, nor the only one. The ancient Egyptians had many names for their gods and their statues. They also changed their names over time, depending on the language and the religion. Some of the other names that the Sphinx was called by the Egyptians are Hormaket Kepri Ra Adam, which means, Horus of the Horizon, the Creator, the Sun God. Ra Harakti Adam, which means, Ra, Horus of the Two Horizons, the Sun God. Adam Hor Em Aket, which means, Adam, Horus in the Horizon. Harmakais, which is the Greek version of Hormaket. Shisep Ankh Adam, which means, Living Image of Adam. Nibu, which means, Gold. But none of these names are the original name of the Sphinx, either. They are just later names that the Egyptians gave to the Sphinx, to honor it as a god or a king. The original name of the Sphinx, the name that Khafra gave to it when he built it, is still unknown. Maybe it was never written down, or maybe it was erased by later rulers who wanted to claim the Sphinx for themselves. Maybe it was a secret name, that only the pharaoh and the priests knew. Or maybe it was a simple name, that we have overlooked or misunderstood. The Sphinx's real name is a mystery that may never be solved. But that doesn't make it less amazing or important. The Sphinx is still a wonder of the world, a masterpiece of art and engineering, a symbol of ancient Egypt, and a guardian of its secrets. What do you think about the Sphinx? Do you have any ideas about what its real name is? Tell us in the comments below, 
And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Science Deli for more amazing stories. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.